Commander Exegius again. Let's look at looting megaships for cargo, materials, and data. One of the more complex endeavors, it requires the use of the data link scanner, manifest scanner, recon, hatchbreaker, and collector limpets, heat sinks, and silent running. While this certainly isn't even remotely profitable, as I earned 10,000 credits after paying my bounties and fines, it is at least challenging. To get started, let's outfit a ship. I'm going to use a personal favorite, the Alliance Chieftain. You'll want something that runs fairly cool, so a hull build is best, and something with a good deal of optional space. We'll do a traditional combat build for the core, with no shield generator. We won't need any weapons specifically, as while you can destroy the turrets, we'll be avoiding them by running cold. Add some cargo racks for our loot and limpets, a collector, hatchbreaker, and recon limpet controller. We can use E-Class here as we don't need the long range, and low power usage is better. Add a manifest scanner and three heat sinks so we can run cold longer. You'll also likely need a fuel scoop so we can track down one of these ships. Let's quickly look at our fire groups and make sure we have our many tools assigned. You'll need to create multiple fire groups and assign your various modules and tools. My fire groups are on screen now. Now that we're ready to go, we need to actually find one of these elusive ships. They are mobile and as such, we need to find their flight plans to find them. For this, we can use the extensive Canon Research site linked below. Just choose the ship you'd like to track down and you'll see the flight plan listed. A quick note, these won't show on the system map, but rather as points of interest once in the system. Once you arrive in system, make sure you're not filtering POIs and select your target and head that way. When you drop, fly to within 4 kilometers of the ship and scan it with your data link scanner. Once you see the scan animation, look at your contacts. You'll now see cargo bays and data terminals. Let's start with the cargo bay. With the cargo bay selected, first scan it with the manifest scanner. Once scanned, switch to the inventory tab and you'll see all the booty available to us. Next, scan the cargo bay with your data link scanner. Here you'll need to be within 350 meters. Once scanned, if you select some targets, you'll see a limpet docking point. Select this, switch to your hatchbreaker limpet controller and fire off a limpet. Now it gets tricky. Let's go cold by enabling silent running, having a heat sink at the ready. While the hatchbreaker is doing its magic, let's back up to at least one kilometer away from the bay. That way, when it pops open, we won't be charged with the act and won't get wanted. Once it spits out its booty, you can disable silent running, open your cargo hatch, and send out your collector limpets to do their work. You'll need to hatchbreak the bay many times to get it to drop everything, so continue to do so until you've filled your hold. Once you have, if you don't mind becoming wanted, it's time to move on to the data terminals. Let's head over to the hackable comms array and when within 350 meters, scan it with our data link scanner. As before, we'll see a new recon limpet docking point on the subtargets tab. Fire your recon limpet. If there are two points, do them one after the other. As soon as the limpets are done, a couple canisters will be ejected with the data. That's right, you'll have to scoop up this data as you don't get it via scan. However, as soon as the hack is complete, you'll become wanted and it won't take long before all of the system authority vessels open fire. I chose not to wait for my collectors and manually scooped the canisters. Once you've completed your looting, if you've become wanted, we'll need to head to an interstellar factor to pay our fines and clear our bounty. To find the closest IF, open Inara, go to Galaxy, Systems and Stations, Nearest, then Interstellar Factors. Before you head there, check and make sure the station also has a black market. Once you arrive, go to Contacts, Interstellar Factors, and pay your fines and bounties. Then, jump to the black market and sell your goods. While there isn't really a reason to undertake this, other than for gameplay, it is at least challenging and makes use of several disciplines and skills. I certainly can't recommend this for any other reason as currently the risk exponentially outweighs the reward. If you do give this a try, I'd love to hear about your experience. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching.